So far things are looking good. However, every single time I refresh, I get blank at items. So I'm going to add some items to the constructor. So eggs, banana, and bread. So this is in the default state. So if you refresh, we should see these items. Okay. So that will make it easier to work through the uh, the examples anytime we refresh the screen. So in the display list, let's say that I want to add an, a checkbox uh, which will indicate if the item is done or not. So we'll do input type is equal to checkbox. So that's easy enough. However, the problem with checkbox is that it follows the same React form style. It needs to have its own state because when we click on it, don't click on it, it's all should be controlled by React.js. So if you can go into and look at React.js forms uh, documentation, we'll see the same thing. So we'll implement exactly the same thing we did for while submitting a to-do list, to-do item. However, before that, let us let me show you how we can do inline CSS. Uh, so right now, the checkbox is a little bit smaller in size. So, so let me try to increase the size of the checkbox using inline style. So in order to do inline style, you need to have double curly. It's not that you need to have double curly. The curly gets you into JavaScript. And then all the style values needs to be in a JSON style curl. So font size and font size will put extra large. And if you refresh the screen, we'll see that the, that the size of the checkboxes have gone up. So that's inline styling. Now, the when we, so display list right now does not maintain any state. It takes the props items and it does that. But when we do checkbox functionality, the display list has to maintain the state whether the checkbox is clicked or not. So in order to maintain the state, we will call that a state done and the value will be the true or false. Uh, so we need an, uh, so we need to put this a state a default value and as you know the default value goes in the constructor. So constructor first line will be super so that's done and this is the first time dynamic list is having a state a state and the state will be done by default done is false which seems like a logical uh, default value. Uh, so what we need to do now is on the input, so we have input type checkbox, we have a style. So we need to do on change. So here in input on change is equal to this dot handle on change. And since every single time we bind to this, so we'll bind to this. So let's see. So here we need to create a callback handle on change. So that's about handle on change. And keeping up with uh, the React.js documentation, check value will be this dot state dot done, whether it's done or not. So let now let's let's see what should go inside handle on change. So in the handle on change, we need to have uh, what we need is where. Let's say we, we are trying to find out if the item has been done or not. So in order to find whether it's done or not, this dot state dot done, and we can reverse it. So checkbox is a unique thing where the property can be only false or true. So anytime it's clicked and something has changed, that means whatever is the state, whatever the state of done is, just reverse it. So that's what we are doing. We are doing underscore done is reverse of whatever it was. And then we need to do this dot set state so that the change can be seen on the UI. 
So now if we uh, are getting an error and we can see the display list. So that error could be because we haven't refreshed it. Let's refresh. And now we can, we can check and uncheck. However, what's happening here? When I check that all three of them are checked or when I uncheck all three of them are unchecked. Why? They are happening because for the whole display list, I have a single state done, true or false. And that's not a good thing. Because there is one state for all three of them, all three of them act in unison. So what's the solution? The solution is that we need to split display list component into display item component. And display list component should consist of many display item component and each of the display item component will maintain its own state.